Um, hey everyone, it's Mandy from Flower Shop Network. I'm here at the Southern Retail Florist Association's convention with Mr. Jeff Freeman, uh, the event coordinator for the Harwood Cup, um, it, which is a really interesting competition. Jeff, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, Harwood Cup? Mandy, the Harwood Cup is an interpretive art contest. It's a competition that uh, peers into the minds and the creative abilities of our designers. And this year we used a pottery piece. It was designed from uh, the Kelly Gonzalez Gallery in Winston-Salem. And uh, the designs we have today, uh, the designers input into this creative uh, piece of pottery. Last year we used a photograph where they had manipulated light. So some interesting art. It doesn't always have to be a print or a picture. The competition was actually named in honor of Claude and Catherine Harwood. And Claude is a multiple award winner. And uh, it has been going on for a good number of years and it uh, piques the creative abilities of the designers. Each competitor is given two hours to complete their designs. The arrangements must stay within the white squares of tape on the floor and they're not allowed to talk to anybody while they're designing. I was very fortunate to talk to two of the top competitors in this competition and get insights on their interpretations. Um, Charles Jordan, uh, he was in the Harwood Cup competition and uh, his design is right behind us, it's beautiful. Uh, Charles, can you tell us uh, how, how you came up with a design like this? Yes, actually I had looked at the artwork and I had entitled it to be containment. Mm -hmm. um, and so I got the shaping with the, the prop of the container um, and then I decided to do a lot of design layering in through the top of the, the um, actual art piece mm -hmm. to uh, pull this through. I kind of did a two scale balance of it so it looks kind of like you know it's uh, tipping the scales a little bit mm -hmm. but then at the base we decided to pave a lot of greens and different types of uh, stones in it. Um, it was basically based on the flora and the fauna mm -hmm. um, so uh, as things would decay in the earth and it would be reborn into this pottery structure that we were actually looking at, you could see more of the colors of nature coming back through the clay. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was the alternative here to get the colors right uh, that were matching the artwork that we were interpreting. Uh, well, it leaned to a tropical effect in the actual artwork kind of stayed with Gloriosa lilies and Aramiris and things like that were more tropical that's not normally seen every day. It's beautiful and it, and it also got honorable mention, right? Yes, it did. It yeah. received honorable mention. I Excellent. was really proud of it. Excellent. Um, I'm here with Carl Hastings. He's the Harwood Cup com uh, competition winner. Your design is certainly magnificent. Um, uh, what, was your, what was the reason that you chose this, this interpretation? I chose this interpretation uh, based on my research on the vase and as we all know uh, uh, a potter works with clay with his hands and takes that soft clay and puts it in a kiln where it's baked with extreme heat and that hardens it into a permanent vessel. Also the glaze treatment that was done on this particular vase was a like a copper treatment to to give the look of, of copper when it uh, is heated and re releases all of those wonderful colors. So what I um, thought about wasn't so much the finished vase as the fire, the process that brought it into being. So my interpretation is based on fire and how fire affects clay, how fire affects copper, how fire affects wood and iron, and I took all of those elements and kind of like deconstructed them or separated them all out and then rebuilt them into the, the arrangement, the, the prop for the arrangement, the base for the arrangement, and all of the flowers are the fire of the, of the process. Well, um, can you tell us about the materials you used and exactly how you, um, sh you show the process in your design? The flowers, uh, I, I looked for uh, flowers that would make me feel like it was on fire, that it was flames actually in and around the container. We purchased from uh, Greenpoint Nursery in Hilo, Hawaii, some beautiful, beautiful tropical materials including the Spectabilis or, or Beehive uh, Ginger on top. 
the uh, flame anthuriums, the uh, pendulous heliconias, and then, and then lo more locally, we got some birds of paradise and, and some other flame-like flowers, the, the brain coxcomb and the croton leaves, which to me seem to be like they're on fire from the inside out. And that's what I love about those. So everything was about uh, creating the flames of the fire. And the materials used in the, uh, the prop or the, the container the, uh, the, is an armature constructed with several materials beginning with rusty metal fencing which people use when they're pouring concrete in their driveways. But it's such a, a wonderful material and it reminded me of the effect that fire has on iron in the oxidizing process and plus it, it gave this nice rusty orange color which which blended or transitioned from the real fiery live materials into the uh, n like the the container which is showing the effects of the fire. Flashing which just came from your local uh, uh, home improvement store in a roll I used a, a handheld propane torch to apply heat to and at a certain point it just releases the myriad of colors that you see in copper. It, it's, it's just like this contained symphony of color that's like hidden, it's, it's secret and, and it's just waiting there to be brought mm -hmm. forth. Then uh, uh, the woods, uh, willow whips, dried willow whips that I used copper wire, regular copper wire, to uh, apply to the fencing and then also crepe myrtle branch, a southern tree that I used uh, right from my own yard. Just cut them off and uh, they, of course they grow back very quickly. So The base is a uh, clay pot and so I just like taking the elements of the vase which were all brought together, separating, separating them out and then recombining them into this it, uh, container. Many of the uh, items that I used are repurposed, recycled, materials. The base is a cube from our shop which is just old. It's been in the basement for decades and I repurposed it by covering it with uh, paper, packing paper that came out of uh, merchandise boxes and adding a little bit of paint and some old burlap and, and painting over it to give it a textural look. The clay pot was already a damaged clay pot and I just damaged it a little bit further by knocking out a section of it. The, uh, and many of the, the sticks and uh, the fencing were leftover prop materials from past shows and competitions. Right. Well, thank you so much. This has been fascinating. And, and the Harwood Cup competition at the Southern Retail Florist Convention is just one of the great floral industry activities you can participate in. Check with your state forest association about competitions in your area. This has been Mandy reporting from Flower Shop Network.